Hello folks, how are we all today? My name's Mark and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're following along my journey, I'm a 58 year old Kiwi guy living in Cancun, Mexico. I'm an ultra distance runner and I'm aiming to become a world champion in my age group within the next couple of years. So all I'm doing at the moment is training and working towards that goal. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about my training for the last week, which has been week three back from injury. Okay, so I'm back from injury and I've been training for three weeks now, so I'm slowly starting to build up my mileage. And I just wanna explain in this video how it's gone in the last week and I'm gonna cover a couple of particular areas. So why don't we go on a run and uh, you can join me on the run while I talk about what's been going on this particular week. So here we go, I'm off on a uh, one of my runs this week and I thought I would just talk through what I've been doing in my training and uh, give you all an update on that. Now with my training what I've been doing is making sure that I only focus on the time on feet. So coming back from an injury my main concern has been about not getting re-injured and now that I'm building up to a 50k ultra run that I'm going to do on November the 4th I'm focused on just making sure that I get through this period of training this training block without getting any further injuries so all I've been focused on is getting time on feet and making sure that I hit those time um, goals every time I go out for a run so in this past week I've done six runs in total I had a day off and I have been running between 40 minutes and 45 minutes for each of those runs and I haven't really been focused too much on heart rate uh, even though I've tried to keep it pretty low now the big problem I have living here in Cancun in Mexico is that every time I go out for a run the temperature is above 86 degrees Fahrenheit so that's over 30 degrees Celsius and we've had temperatures up over 100 for the last few weeks here so it's been extremely hot and the rule of thumb is that your heart rate is typically about 10 beats per minute higher when you're operating in a warm or a hot climate like this one so my average heart rate uh, for an easy run should be around about 118 to 120 beats a minute and at the moment I'm operating around about 130 so that gives you an indication of just how high your heart rate goes when you're operating in these intense temperatures now the other thing that I have uh, in Cancun as a bit of a barrier is there's no hills here so all of my running is on flat terrain and of course I'm going to change that as I get closer to running some of my other ultra goals. I'm going to go and do some high altitude training and I'm also going to be spending time doing races that challenge me over um, undulating conditions. So that's something that I'm going to be doing as I go forward. But you've got to uh, deal with what you've got. I live here in Cancun, it's uh, completely flat and I used to ha I have to use the heat to my advantage and before I went and did my 750 kilometer run in the UK in uh, May of this year uh, I found that training in this heat in Cancun is actually very beneficial so you've just got to uh, control all the factors around you and I did that pretty well before I headed off to the UK so I was happy with that training block that I did which consisted of about two and a half thousand miles of training now that I'm coming back from injury, I'm just building up um, more and more. And on the weekend, my long run consisted of 11 kilometers. And every week I'm gonna be increasing that um, as I go through this training block. So again, it's important for me that I'm not trying to increase the workload too much, wanting to make sure that I don't have any injuries and that I can maintain the increase in training load and volume without hurting myself again. So from that perspective, this past week's been really good. Uh, by the end of the week, I was running the 45 minutes very comfortably and uh, having no issues at all, other than obviously the warm and uh, hot temperatures. And I got through the 11K run on Sunday very well indeed. So all going to plan. 
and now I'm into week four of the training and uh, I'll just be increasing those volumes a little bit more for week four. Now from a diet point of view this past week I have been focused again on a low carb diet so I eat a lot of meat and I complement that with about 10% of carbs so I get my carbs from mainly from rice and a little bit of pasta as well so that's all I include in my diet. So that's been going really well this past week. I feel as though I'm getting a little bit more uh, defined as I lose some uh, body fluid. And eating by eating more meat, you will lose the water retention that you typically have uh, when you're on a carb diet. So that's uh, starting to come into effect for me into week three now. Although I've probably been on the low carb diet now for two of those three weeks. So that's uh, working out much better. Hydration is very important. It doesn't matter whether you live in a hot temperature like this here in Cancun or whether you live in a warm temperature elsewhere. It's summertime now, so a lot of people will be feeling the heat. And I'm drinking currently between three to four liters of fluid a day. That's mainly water with electrolytes. Uh, I use two electrolyte tablets a day and I take electrolytes on my runs with me even though I'm running 40 to 45 minutes at the moment. Making sure I'm getting plenty of electrolytes, hydrating really well, and I feel as though I'm hydrating, um, my hydrating rate at the moment is really, really good. I'm not having any issues with that at all. So diet and hydration are going very well and the training load starting to get there as well. Now, in addition to the running, I've been doing two other sets of workouts. I've been doing core and mobility works out, workouts. So I'm focusing on flexibility, range of motion, and where I did have problems with my tendons and shin splints, I've been doing exercises to strengthen up my calves and also to strengthen up my tendons. So I've been doing a lot of uh, foot toe raises on stairs. That's a very common one to strengthen up the calf muscles. And I've been also doing a little bit of uh, lunges also to strengthen up those tendons as well. So um, core and mobility exercises, I've done five of those this week. And those exercises usually last for a duration of between 30 and 40 minutes at a time. So five sessions of that in the past week. And then um, I've also been doing weight sessions. Now my weights are only consisting of dumbbells. I don't use any other forms of weight at this stage. Uh, I do like calisthenics, so I do push-ups and sit-ups and things like that, but uh, my weights is basically a dumbbell workout, which lasts for between 20 and 25 minutes doing different reps of dumbbell exercises. So again, five uh, sessions this last week in uh, the weight area as well. So that's been really, really good. So my total training has consisted of that. Plus on top of that, I do walk my dog on a regular basis every day. So I get out to do dog walks and you should never underestimate the power of walking. Walking is a fantastic form of exercise. Obviously it's low heart rate, um, but it's really, really good for the muscles. And I find it really good for recovery as well is to get out and go for a walk. So two to three walks a day uh, consisting of every day of week so 21 walking sessions per week uh, which I count in as part of my training recovery process for my build up to my ultra marathon that I'm doing so so far uh, it's going really really well the training's spot on it's exactly where I want it to be after uh, three weeks this week I'm going to do a five kilometer time trial just to see where I'm at I've done no speed work at all so I don't expect that to be anything uh, outstanding, but I just want to gauge, I want to benchmark on where I am compared to where I was pre-injury and uh, see how much more work I've still got to do. So I, I find it helpful every now and again to do a 5K time trial. You get the heart rate really working for you know that extended period of time and uh, it's a really good workout session to see where your speed's at as well, if speed is something that's important to you. Um, if you're doing that kind of training. So I don't do a lot of speed work at all, at all because I'm concerned around injury related to that. So I try and stay away from speed work. But at the moment, I'm focused on just getting my miles uh, increased and getting more, more, more and more miles in the bank. I found in the past that's what serves me best. So I'm staying to that. Now I had someone reach out and ask me if I have a coach. I used to have a coach, I don't have any more. I've decided that I want to uh, focus on my own training and program. I've been doing this long enough now that I, I know my own body really well. 
and uh, I know what I'm dealing with in terms of the terrain and the conditions that I've got to deal with here in Mexico. I've been living here for about 18 months now and uh, I've got to understand how my body operates best by different sessions that I do in this particular climate. So I work out my own training program for now and as I say it's pretty simple from a running point of view I'm just focusing on time on feet is my main criteria at the moment is to build that up and as I get into week seven and eight of my program I'll start introducing different types of running programs uh, running sessions into my workouts each week so that's how I want to do it and that's the way that I'm going to go and do it moving forward so yeah I like to keep it simple um, and do my own programs and, and quantities all the rest of it I don't have any issue with motivation and inspiration I, I find that uh, something that I really find easy to do so I don't need someone picking me up and pumping me up all the time and uh, you know I don't spend a lot of time at all listening and watching YouTube uh, runners giving their explanations on how to do things I'm a kind of person that would rather get out there and learn from doing it and um, I found that really really useful as I trained for my 750k run through the UK a few months ago um, learnt a lot from that training program and as a result of going through that block of training which uh, consisted for about eight months uh, I've been able to take all the things that I learned from that that were extremely positive which was most of it and adopt it for this particular training block that I'm doing now so on November the 4th I'm going to be doing a 50 kilometer ultra marathon race that I've constructed myself I'm going to be the only one in the race uh, it's going to be a race against the clock to see where I am for 50 kilometer distance in this kind of heat I'm going to be starting the run at midnight and um, I'm hoping to obviously beat the sunrise that's going to be one of my goals as far as completing that run now I'm going to be running that run around a 310 meter uh, track around a park that, near I, where I live and I'm going to have to do that 167 times. So I want to do this as well because it's going to be mentally um, tough. I want to be able to train my mind to stick on the stick on the goal and stay focused. And that's going to give me a really good workout um, in terms of mind management uh, and just running around a, a 300 meter circuit for 167 times in the middle of the night. I wanted to do it as well when the body's tired to understand what my how my body and my mind's going to perform during a longer 100 mile race that I'm going to be planning soon in the future. So there we go, that's what I'm aiming for and uh, so far after three weeks everything is on track, I'm really happy. The main thing is I'm not injured uh, and uh, I'm able to keep increasing my time on foot as I go out for each run. So if you've got any questions around what I'm doing, uh, as I say, I don't promote myself at all as a coach. I don't want to be a coach, but if you uh, want to reach out and ask me a couple of things, by all means do that. And uh, yeah, don't forget, hit that subscribe button, uh, follow the journey along. Maybe there's something that you can pick up that might help you. And let me know what your aspirations and goals are at the moment. If you're going to run an ultra marathon, or maybe you're just running a 10K or something like that, that you're training for at the moment. Just let me know how that's all going for you. And maybe what you're finding the hardest uh, part of your training is it your diet is it your hydration is it your motivation to get out there and run um, i am going to go back to running seven days a week once i get a little bit further into my training program i found that to be really productive for me uh, in my training block before but right now as i say i'm just focusing on making sure that i don't have any more injuries and building myself up to get stronger and stronger before i go back to running seven days a week okay well that's about it for this video and uh, i'll be back again next week with a re recap on week number four in my ultra marathon training program and uh, i look forward to having your company then so stay well stay safe and if you can get out there and go for a run and enjoy it because it's a wonderful privilege to be able to go for a run uh, no matter where we live in the world that's for sure okay i'll see you again soon bye for now